Mm. Oh. Ta da! It's recording! <laughs> Good day to everyone watching on YouTube, or as I should be more specific, my 26 subscribers. Woo. Welcome back to Thrasher's Paradise in another interview. Today I have a very special guest via Skype. All the way from Edmonton, we got Cody from Aya Forest. How are you doing today, fine sir? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Now, I'm going to just get straight into the point. You guys haven't released anything since 2016 with your EP up... Ah, oh, damn, I'm sorry, I forget I forget how to say it. Up. It's called Obsidian. That's Obsidian. right, Obsidian. 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 I'm trying to remember that now. Obsidian. When can we expect some new material coming out? Uh, likely next year is what we're looking at. Um, we have about half an album written right now, and uh, we're just finishing off the last few details, but uh, probably looking at a next year release. So, yeah, man. Awesome. Now, you guys did finish wrapping up a tour with Inanimate Extinction, where you joined them. I don't know in which part of Canada, but you joined them and you went all the way to Quebec. What was that like? Well, it was amazing. Like, Inanimate Existence is first and foremost just like an unreal tech band. Um, so just like sheer musicianship was an absolute pleasure to play with. But yeah, we uh, linked up with them in Vancouver, which was their first Canadian date when they were coming through from the States. And uh, yeah, all the way to Quebec City, man, it was it was tremendous. Like, the gigs were great and partying with those guys was just unbelievable. So yeah, it was a good, good experience. What was the most memorable date? a tour date about the whole thing yeah it's a good question um there was several i i don't think i could pick one but uh quebec city and montreal spring to mind immediately um montreal packed house like piranha bar it's it's hard to go wrong montreal um but quebec city was was just amazing great venue great people uh people love metal there you can just tell by the way the crowd reacts and the way the way you speak to people they just they love and live and breathe metal so Awesome. Now, I'm not too familiar with the Edmonton metal scene. I know of you guys as a death metal band who kick ass and Stryker, who just Stryker. created his own, own genre out of old school, old sounding metal and are amazing. Are there any other notable bands from the area? Oh, man, so many. Like, uh, I think people underestimate how strong of a scene we have out here. And like, especially just even the quality of local bands is is really, um, really high quality. But uh, I mean, in the past, we had bands like uh, Death Toll and Exit Strategy. But nowadays, it's more bands like Order of Chaos, uh, Proto Sequence, Tessitura, these kind of bands. Awesome. Now, is there a specific kind of genre all these bands have? Or is it just all over the map uh yeah it's a good question like i would say it's pretty all over the map i think edmonton and calgary tend to focus more on extreme metal like a little more death stuff maybe a little bit of thrash but more more death but it is all over the place you have everything from symphonic to power to regular heavy metal to death metal so yeah it's all over the place awesome now i'm assuming you guys with nma extinction did do a show in alberta like a place in Edmonton. I forget what tours, but was there an Edmonton show? Well, the nice thing is Alberta is a, a quite big province. So we actually had three shows in, in Alberta. We had the Edmonton date, um, which is our hometown, of course, yes. and then Calgary. And then we played a great town called um, Grand Prairie, which is sort of like our Guelph, if you will. Um, oh, yeah, okay. good. Yeah. So yeah, Edmonton show was was phenomenal. Probably one of the better ones on the tour. Um, on a Monday night too, which was was fantastic to see a good turnout and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully the Nanabit boys loved it. So excellent. Now um, you probably have done a lot of touring by yourselves as a group. When we met back in June, early June, you said that it was your first time back in Ontario in a couple of years. What was it like to come back after so many years and get the ovation you did? Yeah, um, I mean, we'd only played there the once once before, but uh, it was amazing. It was it was awesome. Like every time you go to a place and you hope you do well and make an impression, but uh, we definitely saw it and felt it in Ontario. The reception was great. Awesome. Now, 
you gotta tell me more about this Lane guy because he did fill in for you guys. He was wearing a Hawaiian shirt, and I remember this. And I went, "Am I at a metal show, or am I just at something else?" How how do you guys know Lane? I have to know this. Uh, yeah, Lane's just a, a great cat, and anyone who knows him will tell you the same thing. But uh, yeah, he's uh, we toured with Becomes Astral a couple years ago, which is his main band, and. Oh. Uh, oh. So, so we know we know all those guys very, very closely, and uh, as his closest tour gets you to know people, and uh, yeah, so we were like, who's a great guitar player that we can grab? And he's available to tour, great guitar player, great guy. So yeah, easy choice. Awesome. So what did happen to the other guitarists, if you don't mind me asking? Um, Ted is is busy with life. He's got things going on that, that he wants to do, and. Uh, yeah, like people just have commitments. People have life. We understand that. So we just needed somebody to help out. Awesome. Now, writing this new material for your new upcoming album, it's been a while and you guys have gotten older and matured a bit more. Has that shown with your writing style or has it stayed the same? Oh, man, great question. Yeah, um, you hit the nail on the head. Like I think as we get we get older, we're... The, the sound matures along with us and new album is it's something different uh it's definitely an expansion of our sound but we've added other elements to it now before we were just extreme metal and i think we're starting to bring other elements of not necessarily even metal just other music um different tempos different th just different genres that influence the music um yeah it's quite different i don't want to spoil it too much but uh <laughs> it's different yeah uh, don't worry i won't ask many more questions about it <laughs> Don't want to ruin all the plans and be like, ah, oh, damn it, now they're all out there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with that does come touring a bit. Are there any new places you would like to explore with this new with this potential tour for the new album? Well, I'll tell you what, Colin, I would tour anywhere, anytime in this world. Um yeah, man, like we want to be everywhere. We want to influence every place. We want to play every place. We want to experience all these new cultures, places, bands, um, metal, see what their countries have to offer. So, uh, yeah, like to be honest, United States, Europe would be the two obviously first destinations. But, you know, places like Mexico and, and things like that would be would be unreal. Do you have the fans asking you to come to Brazil? I need to know this. <laughs> I have one man message. Hey! <laughs> from brazil so yeah that's awesome um okay now you guys have over a thousand followers on instagram i do believe correct uh yeah i just just hit the milestone the other week there yes congratulations on that um thank you <laughs> out of all those what was the one com what was the one person who messaged you did made you go holy shit i wasn't expecting us to get this person from this strange country um you know I, i'm not too sure i i don't think we, we i think it's pretty pretty spread out i don't think there's been one where we've been wow you know um we get a lot of like fake followers from from other places that so i would say those are the most interesting but yeah do you get a lot of the uh the sex accounts <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I'm not sure, but I hope so. I think so. <laughs> yeah, when you have a guy as good looking as Diego in the band, I'm sure that's, oh, yeah. that's quite a common thing. So, I, I, was trying to figure, I was trying to figure out who would I be interviewing today. I, is it going to be you, Diego, or I forget, who the, I forget the bass player's name. I met him. Um, Andrew, yeah. Pardon? Andrew, Andrew. Andrew, that's right, Andrew. Yep. I was hoping it would be one of you three because you were the only three I knew. <laughs> and like, yeah, the only three original members in, in the band at the time, so it worked out. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, so you just mentioned you guys are the only three original members left. What, what's that like to have a hardship of trying to replace the founding members? Well, um, like technically the other guys are still in the band. I meant more in reference to the bringing on tour, but it's still a good question. Um, like we still had to figure out how to, who to bring on tour and stuff like that. And it's hard, man, like to get, to get quality musicians these days and like people who are willing to tour and people who are good to tour with, like 
you need to mesh personally too, right? Um, yeah. These are all factors and things we consider when bringing people out on tour. And um, yeah, like it, it's it's a lot. There's a lot to consider. So okay. Now, as we we keep talking about touring a lot, which I feel is the main theme of this interview, what band or bands would you like to tour with or bring on tour with you for the up and coming album? Let's say. Excellent question. Yeah. Um, well, we'd certainly like to tour with big bands like uh, I think top of the list would be Black Value Murder. They they've always been huge. Uh, influences on us and that would be dynamite i feel like we'd reach a similar audience too um so there's that as well um yeah like any swedish like death metal band would be great we we'd take anything to be honest we tour with carnifex you know what i mean yeah. um that's a good so yeah uh, yeah um and then people we'd bring on tour it's tough to say uh band called proto sequence out here i would love to to tour with uh there's a band new band called arm omniarch out here i would love to bring on tour they're they're super cool guys um and then like established bands like arrival of autumn apoc i would love to tour with again all great guys so yeah man rep <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm Mark, also repping so hell yeah well, brent with the zimbabwe shirt <laughs> yeah <laughs> shout out Where's brent me off <laughs> um what what's the hardest part about touring yeah excellent question i mean probably probably just the travel i think anyone would tell you that and it's only exacerbated by the size of canada like the distances the travel times you're looking at 10 hour drives pretty frequently um so that can wear on you money is sometimes a concern as well but uh I don't know. I try not to think about those things. It's it's. I try to enjoy where I'm at and and have fun and you know learn from where I am and and just roll with it. That's awesome. Um, now, with Ontario being one of the bigger provinces, are there any sure. little small Nick towns you want to do with for like a little show for? I feel like we've been we've been lucky enough to start doing those our last few visits, but. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know all the, the small towns, but we've had great experiences in Guelph and St. Catharines, so those would be the top two. I mean, we've already played them, right? But um, but yeah, Sudbury was fantastic. Thunder Bay, all, all awesome places that are maybe off the off the large city list that we would uh, we would head back to again because they were all amazing shows. So, yeah. Have you done the Hammer yet, Hamilton? Yeah, we, we did it uh, when we were there two years ago, and uh, we played that. Uh, metal bar like the taco bar and grill or something oh, like that the doors the doors yeah um next time go to absinthe 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 yeah it's uh i haven't been there yet but i know it's a nicer metal venue cool um, yep. we're, we're looking for support we got active sin and lutharo which is like a death thrash band cool oh yeah um, are they, like from Hamilton, kind of. Yeah, they're from Hamilton. Awesome. Yeah, you need those local bands. So yeah. Hmm. What? Oh, what? Oh my God! Sorry, my mom just came down. <laughs> hey, Ma, you can Classic. go. Go. <laughs> uh, there's always someone interrupting my interview. Oh, dude, it wouldn't be a problem interview if um, someone didn't interrupt it let alone a mother <laughs> yeah like i had um profaner i don't know if you heard of them they came over to my place for an interview and my cat just took over the whole thing they all just Dude, fell in love with them and it was like it, it probably spiced up the interview man cats are amazing yeah yeah i did one with x pain over skype and we we just started nice about candy because i work in a candy factory all i see is my you stuff. actually yes i actually do that's super cool it is and he just dropped a bag of candy down just to show as an example and they're like who was that amazing person who just did that <laughs> like, kevin came in and just you talked to him about it before right you the cat was supposed to do that yeah <laughs> yeah that's awesome cool man um are there any big festivals out west you got yeah um 
like three major ones I would speak of. Uh, you got Modified Ghost Festival, which is in Vancouver. Um, it tends to lean a little more uh, hardcore, but uh, plenty of extreme metal bands and things like that. Uh, that's the big one. And then we have two, one out here in Alberta called Loud as Hell, which is in Drumheller, which is where, you know, Royal, Royal Tower, Royal Museum is and uh, all the dinosaurs and all that. Super cool. Uh, great bands. Super like supportive of local bands, uh, which is really nice to see. And then finally, Armstrong, Armstrong Metal Fest, which is in um, uh, Armstrong, BC, British Columbia. And uh, that's probably the best one I've been to, man. It's it's just a blast. 100 man shotgun, wrestle, live wrestling. Super sick. Awesome. Um, out here, we got Heavy MTL. We got Kitchener Metal Fest, which helps raise money for cancer and Guelph Death Fest. Oh. Do you guys see yourselves doing any one of those three in the potential future? Well, I mean, if anyone asks, we'll be there because all three of those sound amazing. Um, like Andrew, our bass player, went to Heavy Montreal and just spoke very highly of the experience. Uh, I think that's on every Canadian metalhead list to play is Heavy Montreal. That'd be sweet. But uh, I'll be honest, I didn't know there was a Guelph Death Fest. I think we'd fit perfectly there. We love Guelph. We love death metal. So... Oh, yeah, the headliner this year is Beyond Creation. Oh, you know what? I've seen the poster for that. Yeah, okay. Totally. And, like, Brought by Pain and stuff like that. It's all fun. Yeah, it's Brought by Pain, Luca, Flub, you know, all, all those cool. Um, Becoming Astrals is, will be there, actually. Oh, all the homies. Sweet, man. Awesome. Should be fun. Uh, definitely love to see you guys there um, next year. Yeah. Dude. So, you know, I do we... let's hook something <laughs> up. Hey, eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, Fest, get us out there. Hell yeah, we'll do it. Uh, awesome. Um, but I want to talk about Kitchener Metal Fest because, like I mentioned, sure. it is something that raises money for cancer. How does that make you feel as a metal musician, knowing that there are pe there is a guy running this festival just to raise money for cancer? Oh, it's it's brilliant. I mean, there are causes like that all over the world. We have we have one out here that does uh, does it for like dogs and stuff like that, like um, veteran or um, veterinarians and like shelters and things like that. So, you know, there's good causes everywhere. I'm happy to help. You know what I mean? Like if we can help raise money for those sort of things. Amazing. You know, um, can't uh, can't speak highly enough about it. So awesome. Now we're at the point where we play this little game. It's called thrash or trash. OK. It's, a, it's the, the rules are very simple. I'm going to say a band name, a song, and an album. Now, you, your response to all the answers are you're going to be either thrash or trash. Thrash means you like it. Trash means you don't like it. Okay. Again, I, I think want, I'm going to be saying thrash a lot. So. Okay. Again, I want to thank Rip Ripperson from Ripper for uh, giving us the brand new segment name. Nice. Thanks, Ripper. Yes. Um, yes, Grant. I'm sorry, my little brother. Oh, okay. good. You want to say hi? To, yeah. Is it cool if he says hi? Of course, yeah. Come in. Hi. Say hi. What's up? What's up, man? How are you? Good. That's Cody. He's from Eye of Horus, oh. from Edmonton. What? Yeah, Edmonton. <laughs> Backwater country, my friend. Long <laughs> ways away. Okay, say bye to Cody. Bye, Cody. See you, brother. Yeah, no, he he likes he likes the fact that his brother interviews bands. Oh, dude, I'm sure he's over the moon about it. Like meeting people from all over the world, uh, I'd be I'd be stoked. That's super cool, man. Yeah. Um. Okay. We're gonna start with some just some simple Canadian death metal. I'd like to say. Um. Let's do some good old Apoc because we keep mentioning them. Thrash. For sure. They get band, man. on a thrash meter. Um, I want to talk about probably one of the best death thrash albums so far this year. Invicta's Halls of Extinction. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't heard it. Uh, but okay. Invicta is like a sick band. Um, they get a lot of clout. They're, they're amazing. Super cool band. Thrash, for sure. Thrash. And you guys did do some... Uh, spot with these guys cathartic demise and one of their songs is called device it was the first song they played live what do you think of it okay yeah they were cool man i dug them a lot um 
I can't say I remember the song specifically, but uh, you give me a quick short list of things to check out after we're done this interview. So that'll be first. <laughs> awesome. Um, but for things to sh- check out, definitely there is a lot of surprising. There's a lot of bands outside of Kitchener in the metal scene that surprised me too. Cool. So no, if you need like recommendations for Ontario bands to go on tour with, don't be afraid to hit me up. I got a good scoop down here. Totally. Cool, man. Sounds good. Awesome. Now it's time we get a bit serious during this interview and we do the poser question. Do you feel the intensity? Of what? The, the, I don't know. No one's ever responded to that. <laughs> just like in, just intensity in general, I guess. Sure. But let's go with that. I'm so confused. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah, I, intense is a great word. So, sure. So am I at this point. I wasn't expecting a response. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> okay, he's ready. <clears throat> Who would win in a fight? Lemmy or God? Uh, Lemmy, all day. Which God? You know, so Lemmy is God. Congratulations. We are 11 for 11, I believe, on the channel now. Nice. Lemmy is God. Yes, that's what. Do you know what movie it's from? No, actually. Have, okay, it's from, from. It's from Airheads. Oh, okay. Yeah, totally. With Brandon Fraser, our good old fan. No, he's from Ottawa, not Vancouver. Damn it. Canadian. He's Canadian, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brandon, he's from Vancouver. There we go. Oh, no, wait. Oh. You're from Edmonton. Damn it. Um, yeah. Oilers, let's go Oilers. Have a good season. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> good okay, Cody, uh, thank you so much for letting me interview you. Definitely would love to have you back on to help promote the new album when that comes out next year. Sure, man. Dude, thank you so much. This was an absolute pleasure. So we'll be in touch, I'm sure. Oh, awesome. Great. I'll make sure that, don't worry, this will be up very soon. I'll let you know and send you a link and stuff. Take care as always. And ladies and gentlemen at home, keep on thrashing. Cool, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye.